What's up guys, my name is Exotic Gaming and welcome back once again to another Pixel Gun 3D video. We are back once again with another 13.1.0 Christmas update, brand new weapon review. And this is the weapon that I was most excited for when I saw this brand new update. I hope you guys are hyped for this because in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a freaking Christmas tree shooting gun. If that's not exciting to you, I don't know what is. So I hope you guys are hyped for this video because this thing is absolutely insane. Now, let me tell you this, guys. I'm thinking about doing, after I finish up with my exams, a live stream where I play with you. I'll do it both on my Android and on my iPhone, probably one day after another. So if you want me to do that, where you can actually be featured in the video yourself, then make sure to leave a like down below, and if we get enough support on this video, I will do a live stream where you all can be featured in it as well, where I play with my subscribers. So, hopefully you guys wanna see that, and with that being said, let's jump into the video, guys. This thing is absolutely insane. That's all I have to say. It's the Christmas ultimatum. I'm, I'm gonna say it like that. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, although I'm not 100% sure, so don't crucify me in the comments section if I'm saying it wrong. This thing is a mythical area damage weapon that, like I said, shoots out a Christmas tree and has this insane green blast when it hits an enemy player. My best comparison is this thing is very similar to the Easter bazooka, where that thing shot out an Easter egg, this thing shot out a Christmas tree. It has an efficiency of 30, with a 54 firing rate, 8 capacity, 10 weights, and it shoots out rockets with a cluster bomb. So, with that being said, guys, let's go jump into a match here, and let's test out this ridiculous weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. Anyways, I'm going to go jump into a close-range map, because obviously, for a weapon like this, you are going to want to keep it in close range. Let's go into Coliseum. Let's go take it into this close-range map, and you guys will see just how ridiculous this weapon actually is. The unique thing about the cluster bomb is it actually has, like, a secondary explosion that you guys could see right there. As you can see, when it hits the ground first, it will have second secondary explosions alongside it so it will damage other people. Now will the secondary explosions be as powerful as the first one? No. The first one is gonna be a one-shot kill to a max armored player. I mean that's freaking insane. There aren't too many one-shot kill weapons, most of them are about a two-shot kill. But uh, having a one-shot kill against those players, this thing is freaking powerful, man. It's about as powerful as you can get for a heavy weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. It also has a very, very big area damage, probably bigger than most other heavy weapons in Pixel Gun 3D, and because of that, the gameplay you are going to get is some of the best you can possibly get for an area damage weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. You have three people standing five feet apart from one another, chances are you're going to take all of them out at the same time with one single shot. I mean, if that's not insane to you, I don't know what is. This thing is powerful, man. Like, look at the gameplay that I'm getting right off from the very beginning here in this match. I'm having no problem taking basically everybody out in the matches that I go into. The only people that are really able to take me out are the people that manage to not die when I first take them out. I mean, this thing, as long as you can manage to make that first shot land on an enemy player, you're going to be guaranteed to get a whole lot of kills in a very short amount of time. Like, look at this. Kill after kill after kill. I think I got a second kill on somebody just then that I didn't even realize I hit. Wow. I mean, like, the blast is insane with this thing, guys. And the fact that it shoots out this cool little Christmas tree is just, it's awesome. I mean, it's a really neat design, guys. I thought, you know, maybe, maybe this thing shot out, like, uh, needles or something like that because, you know, Christmas trees, have, they're, you know, they have needles and stuff like this. But this thing shoots out a full-blown Christmas tree that explodes on impact. I mean, think about, look at this, guys. 16 kills the second I joined into that match there. I got like 16 kills in two minutes, and that is what you can expect when you're using the Christmas Ultimatum. It's probably one of the most powerful weapons from this update, and uh, rightfully so, because this thing is very, very difficult to get. This weapon is going to take a long time to get if you did not have an account already that had this thing, if you weren't lucky enough to find somebody who actually gave you an account. I mean, this thing is, it's freaking insane. That's all I have to say, guys. Um, it's about as best as you can get for a heavy weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. I mean, look at this thing. I'm having no problem at all taking everybody out. Can I get a multi? I really want to hit multiple per people with one shot. If I can manage to find two people, one right next to another, I'll try to do that. Um, it seems like this weapon actually on very rare occasions is a two-shot kill. But I mean, as you all have seen from this video here, 
most of the time it's going to be a one-shot kill on enemies. I think this thing, if you took all of the armor people had, it probably leaves a max armored player with like one health. But there we go. Hey, we got two people with one shot. Maybe like one health left. So anybody that has any little bit of damage dealt to them will end up uh, dying from a one-shot kill with this thing. So like that guy right there was one of the very rare occasions where this thing was a two-shot kill. But I mean, look at this thing, guys. Ultra kill. That's what you can expect with this thing. Monster kill. And we're still going strong. Can we get more than a monster kill? No. I always... I mean, it's difficult to get more than that in uh, Colosseum, that's for sure. So you can't really expect anything more than that when you're using this thing. But, um... I mean, look at these kill streaks, guys. Look at these freaking kill streaks. For a heavy weapon, guys, this is about as best as you can get in Pixel Gun 3D. You gotta just jump around when you're using this thing. Use your double jump. Make sure to avoid all the people you can. And monster kills, guys, they're gonna happen. They're gonna happen a lot when you use this in Pixel Gun 3D. You gotta be very alert, very on the lookout. Use this thing in close range, and the gameplay you are going to get is better than pretty much any other weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. I mean, it's uh, it's powerful. It's it's really freaking powerful. Now, will I probably be using this in future videos very, very soon? Yeah, I think I will. I definitely will be using this in the near future, so you can expect to see this thing in future videos very, very soon, so uh, stay tuned for those but um will i be using this a lot off camera i'm not 100 percent sure i mean this thing is ridiculously overpowered but um is it uh is it something I, I would probably use probably not just because it's so powerful to the point where i uh i'd probably use other things now if this thing was a little less powerful i definitely would be using this thing because a christmas tree shooting thing is really really cool i'm not gonna lie in uh, 2016, we got the uh, the Heavy Gifter, and that weapon shot out a little Christmas present towards an enemy and blew them up. And then we have this thing, which now shoots out a Christmas tree. So you got everything, guys. You have every possible Christmas-themed weapon you could think of in Pixel Gun 3D. And I bet you in 2018, they're going to release even yet another one. I mean, look at the shots, guys. These freaking Christmas trees are blowing everybody up. Imagine if you had a Christmas tree doing this in real life. I'd be very, very worried. I'd, uh, I would not want to have that in my house that's for sure but i mean look at this no problem at all taking basically everybody out ultra kills monster kills i'd uh, i feel like this is probably one of those few heavy weapons in pixel gun 3d where you can probably get some of your best kill streaks ever when using it if you use this thing in a longer ranged map where you don't die as frequently as i'm doing right now in this video you're gonna probably get you know upwards of 10 kills before you end up dying yourself. I mean, the kill streaks are insane. Really, the only times I've died so far in this video, a lot of the times was uh, when somebody was, you know, shooting me when I reloaded. So kind of a problem when you have that occurring. So you have to be careful when you're reloading this thing. Only reload when you know you're gonna be safe. Obviously, as you could see there, there was another example of me reloading and then dying when that ended up happening. So, uh, I mean, you have to be a little bit careful when you're using this thing. That's probably one of the only big downsides when using this thing. So, I mean, it's, it's insane, guys. Uh, how many monster kills have I gotten in this video? Probably more than I have gotten in any other weapon review I have ever done in this game. I mean, how many kills did I get? 41 kills. That's what the Christmas ultimatum does. And there were only three other people, guys. 41 kills with three other people. That's absolutely insane. What I'm gonna actually do now is I'm going to leave and I'm gonna go into something like Night Christmas Town. I'm gonna go into a bit of a longer ranged map and see how it performs there. Now, at longer range, I'm guessing we're probably not going to do as well. And that's mainly because more people are going to be using the Judge. More people are gonna be using stuff like the Secret Forces rifle and things like that. So we may not do as well as we did in that Colosseum match, and uh, we're just gonna have to keep that in mind. We might die a little bit more frequently when using this. Not, we'll, we'll not necessarily die more frequently, we'll, uh, we'll just not get as many kills as we did before. But you guys are probably wondering how this thing performs at the new uh, map here in, in, in Night Christmas Town, so it makes sense to do that. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing right now for the next couple of minutes. But other than that, I mean, I don't really have much else I need to say here, guys. You guys can see just how insane this weapon actually is. Um, also, I will note that uh, you're probably going to get more two-shot kills when using this thing in Night Christmas Town because a lot more people you encounter will have full health. And, um, you know, in Coliseum, as you guys could see there, basically everybody I was taking out already probably had some damage dealt to them. And that's why this thing was a one-shot kill. So just keep that in mind. You're going to probably have more two-shot kills when using this thing. And that's going to be a bit of a, uh, you know, counteraction type thing. But if, if nobody has 
full armor in the matches that you go into, one-shot kills are going to happen when you use this thing. I mean, look, how many kills have I gotten in this video? It's ridiculous. Probably more than any other weapon review I've ever done. I just joined into that match, and I already was winning points against those enemy players. It's, it's just insane. But other than that, yeah, guys, that's, that's basically it. Christmas Ultimatum, basically about as best as you can get. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. I mean, this thing shoots fast as well. For an area damage weapon, this thing will travel very, very fast. And I'm a little surprised at how fast those blasts... Like, look at that. It just destroys really, really fast compared to some of the other area damage weapons in Pixel Gun 3D, which is a little odd, I have to say, just to uh, clarify that. But, um, yeah, if I was to rate this thing between 1 and 10... This is about a uh, 10, guys. This is probably a 10 for a weapon in the heavy section in Pixel Gun 3D. You're not really going to find anything else that's better than this, aside from maybe one or two weapons that we already know what they are. The Judge, the Ghost Lantern, stuff like that. But even still, you can beat the Ghost Lantern using this thing, and I've done that countless times when I've used this, so... You definitely can do that. Really, it's like the judge is the only thing that you're not going to be able to beat consistently when you're using this thing. So, I mean, I'd use this thing over the judge. That's for sure. So, uh, yeah, that's um, that's basically it. I hope you all did enjoy this, guys. This was a lot of fun, and I, um, I really want to go until the end of this match here. So, um, we're going to have a couple more minutes until the end of this match. I wanted to do a full match in Night Christmas Town just so I could show you guys how it performed. Look at this. Look at this. Just destruction everywhere. The Christmas ultimatum brings a whole new meaning to Christmas. Beforehand, it was about gathering with family and having a wonderful time, you know, giving and, and receiving presents and everything like that. Well, now with this thing, you're going to just bring destruction and kill everyone in the matches that you go into. It's a whole new type of thing, guys. This this thing, I mean, look at this. One shot to that thing. He just put that thing down, and this thing one-shotted it. That's insane. Oh, that guy has the Astral Bow. That's uh, a new weapon as well. Look at this. Astral Bow versus Christmas Ultimatum. Obviously, Christmas Ultimatum is going to be the winner there. I mean, it's just insane. Multi-kill, no problem at all, and I'm still getting a lot of health. I mean, it's just it's insane. I'm sorry, guys. I'm at a loss of words here with this video. Can I get a long-range Christmas Ultimatum shot? Probably not. A little bit more difficult to do. Look at how big that area damage weapon kill. I mean, that area damage was, by the way. That was a long shot, and I still was able to take him out. No problem whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's basically it. It's Christmas Ultimatum. Hope you guys did enjoy. I uh, plan to do some more weapon reviews in the near future, but I would like you guys to comment down below what you want to see. Um, it's all entirely up to you, so just let me know down below, and I can definitely do that in the near future. I, uh, I need to take this person out. Look at you. Oh, oh no, I, I died. Unfortunate. That, that, that kind of sucks. I think I'm going to have no problem at all winning in this match. I, uh, pretty, it's pretty safe to say that I'm definitely going to be getting some more points here. I mean, the Christmas Ultimatum, guys, this is about as... What are they doing? Are they teaming up? What? Come on, guys. You can't be sitting there teaming up in the matches that you are in. This is free-for-all. What the heck? I don't get it. I don't understand. I hate it when people team up in free-for-all. That's ridiculous. Oh, look at this. Destruction. Always. I mean, very, very uncommonly will you die to these people here. I mean, it's just insane. The only reason this guy's able to take me out is because he has a faster weapon than my... Oh, wow. Okay. That was weird. Just did a double kill there for a second. I don't know how to make of that the situation. That, that was weird. Um... But I did just post another video, guys, earlier today on, on the other weapon released that I uh, actually have in my inventory right here. The dual cryo pistols. I don't know if you guys want to see that, but um, I'll link it down below in the description so you guys can go see some gameplay with that. And um, we got 20 seconds remaining, so hope you guys did enjoy. I'd appreciate it a lot if you left a like down below. It means a lot. It lets me know you guys want to continue seeing videos on this channel. I want to thank you for the support you guys gave on some of my most recent videos that I posted. You guys are the best. Subscribe if you are new, and uh, turn on notifications for the next review. Ooh, nice long-range kill to finish things off. And uh, can I get the gem? Beautiful. Everything went perfectly there, and I won. A great way to end off this video. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.